Hi guys, welcome to the next part of Next.js 13 tutorial series. In this part, I'll talk about a very important image class provided by next slash image, right? So in HTML, we are provided with the IMG tag and uh, but Next.js 13 does not recommend to use that IMG tag. Instead, it gives us this I image class that we need to use for loading the static images from the local file directory or even if you have a uh, 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 image library uh, hosted on any server like the s3 on amazon so uh, we are going to be using this image class and uh, let's try to load up this versal.svg which is added already added in public folder uh, in our new next.js 13 project okay so now first of all let me import this neversal.svg so now i'm going to write versal from public slash versal.svg so this is how i can import this and now i can use the image class and then i can have the source versal and also i can pass it ALT when image does not load by any reason by the network error then the alt text will be visible on the browser so versal logo right so if I save this and go to my browser and refresh so the logo is not visible let's go to the versal.svg so this SVG is filled with the black color and let's convert it into the white so now if I go and refresh it's already loaded now let's wait and see whether the versal logo is visible or not let me see if I have successfully saved it yeah it's saved with a white color and uh, this page is loading the image versal logo okay so let's reload so you can see this logo is visible now because I changed the color to white. It was already visible, but uh, because I'm using the dark mode of my Chrome browser, that's why this logo was not visible. So there are few more properties that it gives us. So by default, it takes the width and height of the logo or the image that is already stored in our file system. But if we want to change that, we can use the width property and uh, let's change it to 500. And we can also pass the height property and change it to 500. And now if I save it, its size will be increased because I've set it to 500 by 500. So it's become square, right? So this is how we can load the static images that are stored in our local directory. Now, what if we our images are stored in an external server, just like the S3 of AWS? So how we can do that? Let's load another image. So I'm going to load image class over here right and i'm going to pass different properties to it now so the first property is obviously the source uh, this is the url that i have found of this guy uh, and it is already hosted on uh, this website okay so i'm going to take this url and i'm going to give it to the source property src and i've given it to like this Okay, alt person image and I can give it width and height 500 by 500. Okay, so if I save it, go over here, it's giving me an error, right? This error was also uh, showed up in the previous versions of Next.js. So Next.js uh, usually what happens is that when we are building our website there no, there are not a lot of external sources from where we are loading our images usually there are very few like the s3 all of our images are, uh, are published on s3 and we are loading it from s3 so next.js because of security reasons does not allow us to uh, fetch images from unlimited number of sources instead it asks us to add a property of uh, images over here in the next config file from where we want to fetch all of our images so in here we are loading all of our images from www uh, hacking with swift.com okay so i'm going to copy this url and go over here 
first of all i'm going to load the images and then i'm going to call the remote patterns and it will take us an array so first one is the protocol which is https and the next one is the host name okay i'm going to remove the https because i've already added the protocol now right so images remote pattern remote pattern should be with the small writer so i think i've spell it correctly let's try out and see if error is visible unexpected token colon so there is something related to colon that we are not supposed to add so let's see what's wrong in it oh so it has to be both of these properties should be within the object so remote patterns can be more than one object so i'm going to put it within an object so if i save it let's run the server and i'm saving it and it's loading and compiling now if i go to the home route because i'm loading this url so if i refresh this page and it should not show this error now because i've added it in here so under the images invalid source prop so this source prop is not valid it's saying here let's try to remove this forward slash that which i added now if i save this and go to the url and refresh and uh, let's see if it shows this error or not all right so there was an error of the slash we need to take care of how what value we are going to add over here so now our image is visible and uh, this is how we can load the dynamic image from any hosted server right so one last thing that i would like to mention here that the all the images that you want to be shown whenever the page is loads right so we are going to pass one property priority it prioritize the images that these images have the priority it needs to be loaded at any cost at when the page loads so it just gives the priority of the images that we are trying to load in our first home page or any other page that we want to trigger or the images on that page having a high priority so this was the main concept of images so i hope that you have liked it in the next part i'll talk about one of the most important topic over here which was already added and that is the meta tags how we can statically add the meta tags for setting up the title and description and also how we can load up the dynamic meta tags for different layouts uh, in our uh, app folder right so make sure you subscribe my channel hit the like button thank you so much for watching